Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to Respublica. Respublica is Latin for public thing and it's what gave us of course republic in many languages today. However, the meaning has greatly changed over the centuries. To someone today it means a political system where elections are held in order to choose someone for a public office. During the time of the Romans, the term could either be literal, like the public baths, or more political. It would today be translated as state, commonwealth, or even constitution in some contexts. In theory, rulers could not do everything they wanted. Rules were to be followed. This idea also underlined the continuity of the state despite the death of the ruler. Thus, even under the Roman Empire, there still was a respublica. After the fall of Rome, the concept disappeared for a while and kings became the private owners of their land. An example of the effects of this would be the attempt of Charles VI of France, aka the Mad, who tried to disinherit his own son in favour of Henry V of England, despite Charles being at war with Henry. To prevent this kind of silliness from happening again and set boundaries for rulers, fundamental laws and constitutions have been progressively established over centuries to create a stable, once again in theory, state organization. We shall attempt to objectively cover all of the constitutions or equivalent and the major governmental institutions of the recognized and sovereign states of the planet. We will focus mainly on the 193 full members of the United Nations, starting with Afghanistan and finishing up with Zimbabwe. However, exceptions exist and we will see them as well. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button and I hope to see you soon.